Okay, traders. Uh, so just a short recap of uh, my trading day because I'm done for the day. I've got a $2,100 winner in ADSK, $1,300 winner in plan, still riding 200 shares. Uh, PZZA was a relatively small loser. Let's go through this uh, quickly and see what was really going on. So we had uh, actually, I want to start with a trade I did not take because I just missed it because I was watching something else at that time. <laughs> uh, I did post Tiffany's today over 82.80. Now, again, I want to go through this very quickly for those of you who will be watching this uh, video later because we are recording this. So initially, stock came down with a big gap down. Quick, one minute move, two minute move, in fact, to close the gap. You would expect a pullback at the, at the point where the gap is closed. It did come down. Now there's two options. Scott mentioned he want to go short if it fails. It did not fail. If, you, if it fails, it's not enough to see just this pullback here. You need to see it moving up again, failing to move up, coming down, possibly shorting it under 81. That would be a trade. I posted it here, here over 8280. When I go back now at uh, the trading room, I see that uh, Denny actually got it at 82. So if you follow Denny, you got a much better entry point right here at 82. And I think Denny was right. I think I was kind of wanting to see, make sure that it moves higher. Um, but Denny's trigger was much nicer than mine anyway. 82 or 8280 doesn't matter because both of them worked out amazingly well. Two points move uh, to the highs. So that could have been a beautiful trade, uh, although I missed it. So we had, um, other than that, we had ADSK, which was my biggest winner today, at a short, which I posted in the trading room under 132. And that was a classic. You know, ADSK to start with was my only big gap and goal trade for the day. I was hoping that I would see it moving up initially. So look at this huge 11% gap down, which it started with. And then the first move is up, which is great because that's exactly what I like to see in a stock that is gapping down. You would usually expect it to gap and go. So look for the failure to move higher. This pullback here, don't expect it to stop somewhere here and then move to a new high because the stock is down 11%. I would say that for every stock that is down more than 3%, but this one's down 11%, therefore more likely to go. However, you can see it's moving up right now. And that is kind of failure, kind of failure, definitely. But not at first. You see, the whole idea of a gap and go, it doesn't have to last all day long, but the initial power, the initial... Uh, uh, selling power should take it down enough for you to take a good profit. And I posted it under 132 that was right over here. It was making sure it's going to come down. It did come down and continue all the way to its lows, which is just under 130. So that was a nice two and something point move. G gave us plenty of time to take our partial and then sadly moved higher and my last 200 shares are uh, gone, but that was still a nice, nice trade. Um, then we had um, plan. What was my short entry for plan 55? I posted this one. Let's take a look at plan. So plan short was under 55. Where was that? <laughs> Here. I actually don't really remember when was the time I moved in. Was it here? Yeah, it must have been here. Absolutely. Yeah, right over here. So plan started with a gap down, came down, pulled back up, failed to move higher. I was looking for a continuation. Continua continuation did come. It did come down and I'm still riding 200 shares. So that was a nice winner. The initial move here under 55. And again, that was a whole number. Look at the way it was supported here at 55. So just came under, that was a nice uh, entry and nice continuation. And my last trade was uh, PZZA, which was my only small loser today. I posted this one for a long, over $51.
So $51 was right over here. There was nothing wrong about this trade. Uh, PZZA moved higher, uh, moved over $51. I did mention that I was a bit worried because of the volume. Well, volume wasn't enough for a stock that was up 5%. And uh, it failed. So it tried to move higher, failed, came down. But during this process, as it was moving slowly uh, sideways, what you've seen me do is lowering my size. First, well, let me start with something else. I, when, I, when I took this trade after two beautiful green trades, a 200, two, a 2100 winner and a 1400 winner, that was PZZ. Look how much money I lost on this one. Ridiculous, ridiculous amount compared to my other winners. And the reason for that was I knew that was my third trade. I knew I already have two good trades. In, first thing I do, as always, reduce my size. So if I've got two winners, I'm safely in green, I reduce my size. So I reduced my size dramatically with PZZA. And then, as it was moving sideways, it did not move initially as I was expecting it to do, move over the highs, because I was expecting it to move over the highs. Then, as it was moving sideways, reduced my size at a small loss. I think it, I, I think I lost like 15 cents. That's all. Didn't do well. 15 cents. Reduced size. Coming down again. At that point where it was coming down again, initially my stop was supposed to be like 40 cents. But I mentioned in the trading room, I'm going to give it a 30 cent. And then the other size, the smaller size I had, I reduced to 30 cents. So that turned out to be a losing trade. Tried to move up later and failed once more. Well, whatever, I didn't take the second trade. But the first one, I reduced my size and um, had a tighter stop loss and then moved up. So, you know, from all the trades I took today, although PTCA was a losing trade, I think if you want to take something home, the most important lesson would definitely be PZZA. And you know what? I, I think we had two good lessons today. PZZA, reduce your size when stock is not going your way. Start with smaller size if you're already on the green side. Tighten your stop loss because it's not going the right way. And be done with it. Don't get a second trade. Don't get a revenge trade. Don't do this. Don't do that. There are several rules here. And, you know, the second one really is Tiffany's, which I believe was the most interesting trade, which I missed today. And that was a stock that is starting with a huge gap down, strongly moving higher, closing the gap, huge upside momentum. Remember the momentum. The momentum is the key issue here, traders. The momentum is the key issue. Came up closed it. You would expect it to continue higher. However, there's two type of trades here. One, fails to move higher and comes down because it started with a big gap down. Can't remember what the daily looks like. Yeah, daily looks terrible. So you definitely could expect it to come down. So it did not come down. Therefore, you do not have a short trade. But if it continues with a trend, you do have a long. Then he posted it at 82. I think that was a bit more riskier than my trade, but worked out fine. And then I posted it higher, worked out fine without me, because at that time, I think I was watching, I don't know, planned or something like that. So that's um, the main two lessons I would like to take home today is uh, really Tiffany's and uh, PZZA. The other one is kind of, kind of you know, straightforward kind of trades we took. So it worked fine, made some money, great, enjoyed it. But the best lessons are probably those that sometimes you miss, sometimes you really have a loser. This would be the best lessons in my opinion. And traders, just one last thing before we go. World Series of Day Trading is just about to start. And if you did not yet join our competition, you should do that right now because there's huge prizes over $3 million in funded accounts. And we look forward to see you guys there. If you want to see more, if you want to learn more, here's the video. Click below. There will be a link below to join the World Series of Day Trading. It is free. It doesn't cost anything. You can only gain. Here's the video. World Series of Day Trading. 
You've read and heard about it everywhere. Now, let me tell you what it's all about. The World Series of Day Trading is the largest, most important, and most dominant trading-related competition in the world. Every few months, the day trading community holds its breath for six trading days to see who is the leading talent in the world of trading. Each competitor gets a $240,000 demo account to trade with for the six trading days. The goal is to reach the end of the competition with the highest account balance and without getting eliminated. Each competitor must trade on at least four active trading days out of the six, and you're not allowed to hold any position overnight. On a given trading day, you may not lose more than $3,500, and you can't be down more than $12,000 at any point in the competition. If you reach the max loss, you are automatically eliminated. It's an open competition, and anyone can apply whether you have many years of track record in the market or very little experience. While we are powered by TradeNet, you can apply regardless of where you obtained your education and irrespective of the trading platform you use. The prizes for the champion and the runners-up are fantastic. The champion wins a $240,000 funded account access plus a $6,000 TradeNet voucher. Each one of the top 20 traders wins access to a funded account. The total funded account access fund surpasses $3 million. You need to know that as a competitor, you deserve to be a part of a team. Your team leader will guide you throughout the series, so it's better if you follow him and his social media channel closely. As a team member, you also enjoy the internal competition with your teammates. The best trader in your team wins an $80,000 funded account value, while the two runner-ups gets a $14,000 funded account access. Your team is also competing with the other teams, so if your team is among the top three, then the leading players on your team can get even larger prizes. Got more questions? That's okay. Fill in the details below, and we will get back to you shortly to explain. Now it's time for you to go ahead and sign yourself up with one of the teams. Hurry up and sign up right now.